Okay, guys, girls, welcome to this demo version of Click Course. Now, before I go into that, let me tell you the structure of Click Course. We've got an institute, also known as a program, and under those institutes programs, we have course categories, we have courses, modules, and lessons. Okay, in order to create our lessons, we obviously need modules. For modules, we need courses. For course categories, we need the program or institute. Okay, it's important to, to see that so that you know how to structure and navigate this platform. Now, the basics you can find here, you can set up your profile here in the profile section and you can set up the settings right here. So that's typically what you do first. You go into your settings and you set up uh, the uh, platform for your account, okay? So you give the site name a name, etc. right? And then you gotta uh, customize these emails because whenever someone signs up, you wanna send an email, right? Uh, that's based on a institute and a student email templates. And you can see here the templates all there. So you can easily change out the logos you know, if you want to change colors, go uh, go do that. But I suggest, you know, just change out the logos. That will be good enough. Okay, don't make it too complicated. Same on the institute level. All right, people will need to ha to receive their username and password in order to get uh, access to your courses and your platform. Okay, now you got some administration. This administration, uh, we have a separate video for that. That's set uh, setting up your uh, course credits, right? So people can earn course credits uh, whenever they do certain activities and they can use those course credits to purchase other courses, okay? So that's a real incentive for people to, you know, complete certain actions. But an SMTP settings integration, which, you know, you need to fill out in order to get your emails sent. So that's a setting, setting page. It takes you a couple of minutes and then you're ready to go. So the next thing, as you can see from this uh, uh, diagram, is we want to set up the Institute first, right? So we have some quick links here and we have a, a menu bar here. Uh, it's pretty easy to go to Institutes here. This is with the Institute logo. And you can see here, I've got one Institute already there. Uh, if you want to set up your institute, just click on add new institute and you add like a picture and you fill in the rest of your details and then you click, uh, sorry, first the password and then you click add. So now I've created the uh, institute. I named the institute Danny DeVries. I have to approve it in order to activate it. Okay. You can deactivate it like uh, here uh, on this slider. If you want to edit the uh, details we, you just entered, you just do uh, click edit. If you want to delete the course, you can do that there. So now we've set up our institute, right? So you can go click here and you can look at the site itself. It'll load the site and obviously it won't have any courses or course categories there, right? But it's the, uh, the site is completely set up here. Now, there are some terms and uh, uh, conditions, some privacy policies, earnings disclaimer and contact us, right? So if you want to set those up, you go to site pages and you set up the colors. I mean, it's pretty customizable, right? So now it's blue uh, and you can make this another color if you want. Uh, Let's make it orange, for example, right? And uh, you can add your terms and conditions, privacy policy, earnings, disclaimer, and your contact us, okay? So you'll save that. You can see that if I refresh this, this is obviously now orange, okay? So you can customize your uh, institute page there. And uh, that's pretty simple and straightforward. So we've... Um, set up our uh, institute, our program. So the next thing that we want to do is set up our course category, right? So course categories are in here. We can say, hey, I've got uh, a, a health program. And in that health program, I have a category called fitness, right? Save category. So we got the fitness category and I've got like the category uh, weight loss. Okay, so now I've got two categories. 
that I can use in order to add my courses to. So we got our course categories and the next step would be to create your courses. Now here's where uh, the courses that I've set up under the Institute. I want to add a new course and that would be my fitness course, right? So I want to have a fitness course. We'll have a preview video if you uh, want to have that in here, just to put the share code in here. Um, you give the course a name, fitness course. Okay, and then you can get some information. We'll go next, and then you can get either a monthly recurring price or a selling price. Okay, for this uh, uh, course, I'm going to calculate a one time price here. You can add uh, affiliates if you want to. That's not relevant for now. So it's a one time price, not a subscription. We don't do promotions yet. So we'll finish that. And we now have set up our fitness course, right? Now, in our courses, we want to add modules, okay? And again, you can look at it at a list view or at a uh, thumbnail view, okay? I prefer using this view. And then here, simply uh, duplicate the course. You can assign the course to an institute. In this case, it's uh, Danny Dries. So uh, let's uh, create some modules, okay? So here is the first module. So we've now have our institute, we have our course category, and we have our course. Uh, and in those course, we now are going to set up a module. And the first module is like uh, core body strength. Okay, so I'm going to add that module to this. And in those modules, we have lessons. Okay, so the next level that we're going to add is the lesson itself. Now that less lesson can be an audio lesson, a video lesson, it can be just a download of a document, or it can be a text. Okay, so uh, in this case, we'll just add a video. And the type of video is going to be a YouTube video. And that's going to be about, you know, your core body strength exercises. Okay, so we'll set that up. We'll We've got a course title, which is five core exercises. There are lessons that you don't want and uh, everyone to see without signing up or paying for your course. Just check this one off. Okay. So we'll upload that and we've got our first uh, lesson into our module. Now that's how you set up this course. Now let's have a look at our platform you can see here the course is now there and if i go in here then i can buy it right here right and because i've uh, deselected the preview i can actually not see this if i would have added the preview um, and go back here then what you will see is that there is a preview and now they can preview the lesson right it's that simple guys so that's the structure of the program, institutes, course categories, courses, modules, and lessons. Now that's very important because uh, this is what other platforms do as well is the course quizzes. Okay, here's where you can set up a course quiz with uh, various uh, answers that people will need to answer in these questions. Okay, you can ask them questions about the course that they just went through, simple questions like, okay, which five exercises did you just learn and then uh, they can put the answer in and then if they pass then they can not only get course credits but they can also get a certification okay so that's the unique thing about this platform so let me give you a quick example of a quiz and a certification so i've got a quiz here about the member site uh, creation and if i just added the quiz you can see that uh, this is the course, uh, this is the uh, quiz name, and this is the question, right? You can have multiple questions, obviously just add a question, right? So this question is name one of the critical elements you need to include in a, a sales video to sell your membership course, right? And these are the options. So if they answer one of the options, then they get, you know, a percentage of a score. So if you only have one, a question and they get it right, that's 100%. And after they've completed the quiz, 
then depending on how much percent they have completed, they can get the certification. Now you can here see the uh, quiz certifications. Now at 70%, they uh, get a certification like the membership certification and at 90% or more, they get the doc doctor of medicine certification or in this case, the doctor of marketing certification, right? Uh, and you can send that to them and that will look like this. You know, congratulations, students, you have successfully completed the program uh, with this course name and your qualification score was like 100% and this is your certificate. So that's an example of a certificate. It's a, a great feature, a great addition, and it will get your course students completing their courses so that you can actually go and sell them another course, right? Uh, and that's, that's a quick demo of the platform, guys. Uh, thank you for watching.